Welcome to Retro Arcade Gaming. Retro Retro. My name is John. I'm with Dirk. The one and only Dirk Dirk. <laughs> Dirk Dirk. And we are playing Super it's a Turbo mouthful, folks. Puzzle Fighter 2. Yep. Turbo. Try to say that uh, fast. <laughs> <laughs> super Hyper Turbo Super Street Fighter 2. Yeah, they got to make sure that you know that this is just super awesome. Yes, because it's a super awesome game. Super Puzzle Fighter was uh, uh, released in 1996, and it was in it was very popular because uh, it was like when Capcom was huge. Not only it, it yes. was huge, and it took a very popular franchise and repackaged it as a puzzle game. Yes, which you would think that would be a horrible combination, yes. but it actually was pretty pretty uh it's pretty successful it was not only successful i think it was addictive uh, yeah you know, and, <laughs> it was and, addictive and you know when i went to all these arcade places i usually went to the, like at this time 1996 i was just going into a lot of arcades especially ones in like chinatown mm -hmm. and that they, they were filled with the, it, the super puzzle fighter and it was yeah. really popular especially with the guys who cannot beat the um <clears throat> The, the Asian kids. Oh, you know? no. Who, I, who can beat the Asian I, kids? I can say that because I'm half Asian, but, you know, those fucking Asians, when they were in the fucking Chinatown, they just... Oh, they, they, were, they, you know, they were so intimidating. They knew how to play the game up and down. Totally. And you can you just... So, so, what was the alternative? The alternative was to go put your head down in shame and go to, <laughs> go to Puzzle... Go, go to play Puzzle Fighter. Yeah, you know? yeah. It was a, at least it was an option. Yeah, and you know, Puzzle Fighter was actually very good, very addicting. It was very fun to play. Mm -hmm. Very fun to play. And we're gonna jump into it and see how we do. Yeah, you, we're gonna jump right into it. Yeah, so... Disclaimer, I absolutely suck at Puzzle Fighters. Puzzle uh, games. Puzzle games, altogether. don't worry. Uh, uh, well, Puzzle... This is one of... It's not your typical... It's not like Columns, or it's not like Tetris, mm -hmm. right? Where it's like... It's almost straightforward. Puzzle Fighters, it's not really... It's not totally straightforward. I mean, mm -hmm. you put gems together, but there's ways of is combining like, them. Is you it know like what I mean? Tetris Attack? Uh, what? Uh... I, I don't know. I don't even think I ever played Tetris Attack. Yeah, we'll see. It may be like Tetris Attack. But, but I sucked at that game too, so it makes no difference. <laughs> but but the thing is that you you combine these gems and there's ways to like combine it like combos, like in Street Fighter, to do the most damage to your opponent. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole takeaway from the whole what I'm saying about this. Oh, it's, it's a different kind of uh, uh, puzzle game. Oh, dear. But You're, I, your half Asian advantage will manifest. No, I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. You know, <laughs> you, you know. But we are going to be uh, because we've been abusing the whole 2D side scrolling. So we are. Yeah, gonna we take, need to switch it up. So we're going to switch it up, and we're going to play more puzzle games and uh, some sports games and mm. some fighting games. So we expect this. Expect uh, Bubble Bobble and some other. You know. <laughs> That would bust a bust a groove, bust a move, not bust a groove. Bust a move. <laughs> bust, bust the move. <laughs> All right, so let's start it up, shall we? All right, let's get it. We're gonna play. Uh, are you in it? Yeah, it's pretty normal, right? So. There, 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 there. there I am. Yeah, so. Let's, uh, let's uh, guys. Let's yeah, let's go do typical Ken and Ryan. Yeah. What's that? The middle finger? The Ken with the, <laughs> the, the, the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Say, fuck you, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. I got the right character. Do it. I got it. And away we go. This. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, I think. I'm, did you ever play these for the consoles? Uh, I did. Oh man, but it was it, it was. Pe oh god, I think I remember how this works. Yeah, this is this is like Tetris Attack. Is it? Yeah, it's similar to it. And I suck the Tetris Attack. This is not gonna be pretty. Yeah, there's probably, you know, there's probably some experts watching, like, probably gonna be watching us playing. They're like, oh, nodding their heads, like, what are they fucking doing? And they're gonna I play know, the fucking like, game. Why did you make that move? Did you ever? That absolutely makes no <laughs> sense. Like, doesn't make any sense, man. What the fuck's your problem? <laughs> All right, let's keep. Oh uh, yeah, and these timers. Yeah, this is definitely similar to Tetris Attack. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, here we oh go. boy. Oh, shit. So I think part of it is just. Knowing how to, like you said, make those combinations yeah. um, effective, I guess. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. You ready for this? You ready oh, for this? Dude, Damn. But nothing? I thought, I thought it was going to be something like... Oh, ah, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking uh, about. I was like, yo, what's going on here, man? Uh, I'm done. 
Uh, oh well. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Don't give up yet! Don't give up yet! This is... Oh, whoa, what, what just happened? Something good just happened. Yeah. Woo! Okay! Okay! Yeah. Come back! <laughs> oh, I, that's gonna be a short-lived comeback, though. Short-lived? Oh, <laughs> thanks a lot! <laughs> you just totally killed my... I'm gonna kill you... Oh, fuck. <laughs> you oh. killed my hope! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Exactly! I, I, okay, I... You know what? I'm doing too much talking. <laughs> gotta, oh, you're doing too I, much talking I, I, now! I gotta... I gotta, I gotta <laughs> concentrate! Yeah, concentrate! <laughs> Alright, oh, oh, right. oh, crap. Oh, that, so, yeah, I forgot we could chain it up. And, ah, keep... Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Oh! I like the uppercut! Oh, shit. Oh, no, I... Fuck! Oh, okay, okay, there's still a... There's, okay. th there's still a chance. There's still a chance? Come on! Come on, chain it up. Chain it. Uh -oh. oh, fuck, that's not good. That is not good. Yeah, it can't be good. Okay, uh, yeah, this is, this is a quirky little system they have. It's just... It is pretty random though, so... Oh there. Damn! It is pretty random. Okay, but it's a good kind of random. <laughs> it, what happened? Well, it is as random as any other puzzle game. No, no, I mean as know. far as... The fact that, you know how it, the simplicity of textures where you just... You have to keep, line up blocks together in order to make it actually... Oh, no, 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 something no! something to happen. Yeah, yeah, but here you actually need a specific type of block. Oh, crud. You need a specific block. Oh, that was bad. I'm uh, done. Come on. Come oh, on, they usually give you like this... They give you this, like, uh, that diamond. Oh. Yeah, that, that's like the lifesaver yeah. turning around. Yeah, they, they know they have to extend the gameplay with that uh. diamond. Oh, oh man, I almost fucking died. I almost fucking died on that. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here! I don't know what I did, but that was awesome. Oh, that's so <laughs> embarrassing. Up here. <laughs> I like that middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, man. Come get it. Come get oh, it. Oh man. So what the fuck? Are we doing this two out of three shit? Yes, definitely. All right, all right. That's like let me bam. Come back. Come all new right. challenger. Now, now I gotten used to the game. Uh, That's it. Go pick a new character. Yeah. Pick your new character. I All should right. do the same okay. to them. Okay. Okay. Right. You know, we, we had this little talk, me and Dirk, before the thing. It's like, oh, <laughs> we have to talk more because there's a lot of dead air. But, yeah. But you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> it. fuck it. Oh, 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 I have to be quiet. Yeah, I have to concentrate. He has to concentrate. I, I can't. Especially I, since now he's down. I, 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 one. I, I take it all back. He takes it all back. <laughs> you... Now, now I'm gonna be like the silent killer, man. Fuck this. The thing, silent man. killer. All right, All right silent this killer. Is, this is war. Kill in silence. I cannot. I, can, I cannot. Uh, I cannot lose to you. You just can't lose to me. Especially not more than once. Uh, no. No. Otherwise, no. Not, not more than uh, uh, once. Not uh, more otherwise, than. a half Asian advantage. <laughs> but you, you might just. You might just lose that half Asian. I gotta so take advantage <laughs> of my. <laughs> I have to call in my inner Asian. You better call in it. <laughs> I never really appreciated the mechanics of this game. What? Oh, you didn't play it a lot? A no, lot I didn't appreciate it. Oh. Like, it's actually pretty... I'm starting to really understand why it was addictive. Because... Uh. It, ooh. Oh. Oh. You see, you were talking. <laughs> you, you did that on purpose. Man. Yes, I did. <laughs> Completely on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to oh. maintain my advantage oh, here. Oh, no. Fuck. Okay, come on. Do something. Do something. There you go. Uh-oh. Oh uh -oh. man, I totally, damn, I, to, I totally forgot how to play this, man. <laughs> you totally forgot how to play this? I mean, yeah, there was at one point where I felt like I was good, but, I mean, it's been years, though, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. Huh? Uh, and you know what the funny thing is? Ooh! Oh, you're done, bro. Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Two out of three, my friend. Oh, you know what? I <laughs> This game is not good, man. I, I really don't like this game, and it wasn't really popular at all. It really wasn't. I mean, I mean, it, it kind of sucked. 
Oh, I, <laughs> no, I don't recommend this for anybody. I don't recommend. You don't recommend game. it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess you won twice, so I guess we could put this in the <laughs> back burner. And okay. We'll, like talk about it or something. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah okay. So, right, so my fir my first impressions. Because now I have to do. Well, you know, oh, screw it. I'm just, just gonna it. let it. Yeah, just let it play. Just let it play. Unlike many of the puzzle games I remember playing, this one really does an excellent job of keeping it random. And there were a few times, especially at the end, yeah. where it looked like I was gonna, you know, perish. And then they had like the the, the, the gem, diamond, the yeah. diamond. Yeah. So that's a way of keeping it Keep very uh, how suspenseful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although it's interesting though, because it's kind of like it seems like those diamonds only appear when you're about to die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think, I think so. You know what? I think I think it's just random. You think but, so? But but I I do I do like the game. It's it's very it's very um I, I didn't mean that. Oh, I was just angry. And whenever I lose to a yeah, game, yeah. I, I just yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, to, he just completely disgraces his happy tend to, tend to lash yeah. out and but the game is fun and um you know. Uh, I, I didn't expect to lose that fast. <laughs> Twice that yeah, fast. He, he, he lost to someone who, at the beginning of this podcast, said that he sucked outright at puzzle games. So <laughs> take that yeah. into consideration. Uh, but um, <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, the key to I mean, the the, the we we'll just go go right through it. The three good game, the three, three good things. I mean, what what are the things that you like about this game? I think they really took what made Street Fighter fun. And, and, and appealing and they really meshed it well with the mechanics of a puzzle game like it really works I mean yeah. and of course you know the caveat is when they, they do their special moves that they would normally do in the regular yeah, game yeah. Um, as part of your combinations or your chains yeah. so they I think it was just a really excellent marriage that they, they, they composed here so that is high definitely a big highlight and then the other highlight I feel is, once again is how it didn't. F it felt like you still had a chance to win, even though it looked like you were just about to be wiped out. Totally, yeah. It so is. it kind of. So if you were a person like, oh, you know, and, and, and it kind of rewards you for maybe, okay, I'm gonna build these. I'm gonna build these possible chains that I might be able to take advantage of later. Like yeah. I guess when you have certain colors that come all together, it creates bigger blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if you are about to be wiped out, you know, you're in the danger zone. Then you get that. That gem, that, that that power gem, I guess they call it power yeah, gem. Yeah, yeah. Then if that can actually trigger like a whole bunch of chains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it goes to like the two yeah. chains, three chain, four chains. So it becomes like yeah. this, like this, like this, this whole set of like haymakers at yeah. the end, which is really exciting because it feels like an actual Street Fighter game. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I'm agree. I agree with you on all points and thing like that. The game is fun. It's addicting. It's a unique yeah. uh, chain system that you really didn't see another another. In other puzzle games, yeah, the no, way you could chain a, chain attack your opponent, yeah. going head to head, it was really unique, really fun. But I do got a I do got a big negative about the game yeah. that maybe I want to bring up to you, mm -hmm. and maybe uh, maybe I can see your sort of input on it or something, okay. right? What would that be? And do you think that this game would still have been popular if they didn't use all the Street Fighter iconography in it? I mean, See. because I feel like puzzle games doesn't really work well in the arcade. I mean, like, except for if, if unless you're Tetris mm -hmm. or Bust a Move or something like that. But mm -hmm. if this game was just straight out called Gems, and there was no other, there was no other Street Fighter iconography, there was no other other mm -hmm. thing. Would you still play it? Would you still think it's fun? And me, 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 in my personal opinion, I don't think so. I think mm -hmm. this game would fall. F I mean, I don't think this game would have held well. If um hold or held or whatever, I held well. Yeah. If if it didn't have all those characters, I'm inclined to agree. I think it would be a tougher sell. Um, yeah. not saying that it would take away from the gameplay, but like you said, that iconography, that association with yeah. that brand in this case, because these are multi-million dollar characters that yeah. at that at yeah. this time that they're messing with. I mean, you yeah. have Ryu, Ken, Cammy, yeah. or whatever, and then they're just throwing in there. So they yeah. throw in a mediocre puzzle game. It's like, oh, let's throw in these characters to just elevate it, just to elevate it that much more. So, right. and don't get me wrong, the game is fun, but I don't think it would be as popular or as fun. You wouldn't seek it out if you're no, gonna have you all those. You probably wouldn't. I mean. I, I think that you have to give credit to Capcom because even though they were just basically doing a facelift of this franchise onto this puzzle game, they still took the time to kind of 
emulate different aspects of the original game into this puzzle format. So you gotta give them credit for that. Yeah. If it would, how would it work without that that relationship? Mm-hmm. I, I think it would be a very good puzzle puzzle game. Yeah, but, but not one you'd be spending mm, twenty five cents nah, on or nah, fifty cents. You probably wouldn't. Would even so notice it harder than you would columns or. Any but that's other. that's my point. Yeah. I think yeah. that they just they just uh, it, to me it's all about the iconography and oh, yeah. it's not about like the the game itself. Oh, it's, it's definitely a cash grab. It, it, it is cash grab, and <laughs> but it's a good one. Definitely, <laughs> it's definitely, a good cash and grab. it's it's. I'm not saying it's an, it's not a good game. It's a really fun game, and yeah. the, the characters do help it give it that extra visual. Yeah. But that's what it does, though. It gives you that extra visual. It's a selling point. Yeah. And I find, I mean, I, maybe I'm being a little too harsh with it, but that's what I was just sort of thinking about when I played the game, you know, yeah. and it's like, oh, this is another, you know, this is just another, it's not like they went, they, they, they were really creative and create up, uh, created a whole arsenal full of original characters. They didn't right, do that, right, right. right? They just used char- existing characters. Yeah. There, maybe, there, maybe there was one or two that I didn't see before, but they, you know, there yeah, were, they, yeah, there were a few. That yeah, I but they, but, they heavily relied, even on this title screen you're looking at now. I mm-hmm. mean, it just calls you because it's this, this Street Fighter thing oh, that yeah, they're they, banking yeah. on. Yeah, the only thing they replace is uh, instead of Street, they call it Puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and don't I don't think I don't think Capcom is, you know, the only culprit in this, right? Mm-hmm. You got like Doctor Mario, yeah, oh, Buster yeah. Move. Yeah. I mean, because puzzle games in the arcade doesn't really help, you know, you don't run to the arcade, you run to Street Fighter, or you run to the Sega, whatever thing you can sit on, or whatever, because those are the attention grabbers, right? Yeah. But, yeah. you know, they have to get your attention some way, right? So right. they have bust the move with the bubble bobble characters. I mean, mm-hmm. back, though, you know, people who, no, I mean, people who had an NES, no bubble bobble, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and Dr. Mario, I mean, it could have been, why don't you take out Mario and call it Drugs? I mean, it would. It would <laughs> yeah, it, it wouldn't do as well. It wouldn't. You wouldn't have. It, would, it, it wouldn't have done rich. as well. You you wouldn't have Doctor Jack doing <laughs> or whatever character you made up. You know, and that's my that's my negative. That's right, my negative. right. No, I I I I would agree with you. I mean, but aside from that, I mean, if like it's obviously they're capitalizing on the brand, but. There's capitalizing on the brand and coming out with a product that is just so bad, like you just see it was, you would have to call it a facelift, because that's, yeah. it's kind of like, you know, I know some people may be disinclined to agree with me and might go in the comments and say, wait, you don't know your hi- Mario history, but it's kind of like what they did with Super Mario 2 when they facelifted. Of course. <laughs> yeah. The original game from Japan. Yeah, totally. Just, I mean. Yeah, just, that was a complete facelift. Yeah. And it's but, just, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You just needed some. What was it? Doki Doki Panic? I think it was. Yeah, Doki yeah, Doki yeah. Panic, oh, right? man. Yeah. Right. Good. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It's just taking old cat. Or was it like the adventure of Link 2? Link 2, right? From the NES? Wasn't that a, originally a different a different game altogether? I believe that was actually an original game. I mean, it was kind of rushed, so... You think so? I don't, I yeah. don't know. Maybe we got to look that up. Because I mean, it would be intriguing if it was an original game. That yeah, because I thought it was... Because it seemed like... Because they both both were released in the same time frame, so maybe they did. Yeah, and it didn't play like another... An, 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 it didn't play like a the original Zelda Yeah, game. it was a very different... It was, a different it, it was like a complete 180. Totally, to get, totally different. Because, you know what? They weren't expecting the success of the previous, the, the first iterations of the Mario game as well as the Zelda game. They were shocked. They were like, oh, the first, like, we want a sequel. So but like, no, the backstory is with the Mario 2 yeah. that it was just a re, I think it was just a rehash of the, like, other Mario boards is just harder. Yeah. And then, so they just ported this, it, this other game, made it into Mario 2. I mean, I believe. Well, this was that. back when they didn't, I mean, the whole idea of, at least in gaming, the whole concept of a sequel was just like you said, just making things a little more difficult, you know, making it more challenging, like yeah, a challenge yeah, yeah. version. But I guess it didn't translate well in the States. Maybe when they showed it to wherever their American um, yeah, the distributors were, they were like, we can't, time. this is the same game. Yeah, you know, nobody's yeah, going to yeah. buy the same it's game. True. So they're like, oh, crap, well, let's just faceplant this game. So, which is interesting because it kind of created this standard or demand that your sequel has to do something different. It yes. cannot just be 
a tweak. But that's but yeah, I I, I disagree with that though. <laughs> okay. I mean, but look at the whole Street Fighter thing. I mean, well, that's I mean, true. They're they're guilty I of mean, that. There, like, <laughs> anyway. of, like what, there was Street Fighter Two, World Warriors. Then there was Super Street, Street Fighter. Then there was no, Turbo Street Fighter. Then yeah, Hyper yeah. Fighting. <laughs> then there's Street Fighter on steroids. <laughs> then there's Balrog on steroids. It took them like, <laughs> it took them like eight tweaks to actually finally get to Street Fighter Three. Yeah, so it's like, I mean. D- in one aspect, yeah, you're right, right? But they always have to try to, like, uh, challenge themselves or create something new. Right. But, you know, Capcom's been, like, uh, not- they are yeah. they're, they're been uh, notorious for repeating the formula. But you, you know, know what? You gotta give, remember, they were... This was originally an arcade game, so I think those tweaks were more or less not... They were not criticized because usually, you know, arcade cabinets do get tweaked. So, you know, yeah, you have like yeah. oh, of course, of or course. they come out with a new revision. Uh, yeah, they yeah, revise yeah, the mother yeah. uh, the the cabinet board. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. that's expected. I mean, so I think that's how they got away with it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> more yeah. or less. I mean, obviously, you know, in today's ver- uh genre uh methodology of uh game playing, that would not fly. Although, it does still kind of happen now cuz now you have like updates for yeah, updates. Have updates. So, you're kind of yeah, seeing that and like or um what, expansion packs that's happening a lot. Yeah, now or downloadable games. content. Downloadable I content. hate that so, downloadable content shit. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like harkening back to this idea of yeah. tweaking. Yeah. Um but I mean, I guess maybe it depends on the franchise, you know. Some franchises, you know, get the green light. Other franchises who knows? Marrow would have been a, probably a very different story if they hadn't, you know, gotten that pushback. I mean, it may not have been what we know it as today. Well, because in a way, they do maybe. still kind of tweak. Oh, I mean, like, the, Ma- Mario. Like, the they, formula hasn't changed since Mario sixty four. Well, not, not, well, it hasn't changed. Well, it, Mario Galaxy is way different than Mario sixty four. I'm talking I mean, about the mechanics know. of the game. I mean, oh yeah, I mean, but that's. But you don't want it to feel like a totally different game. Like, uh, like when you like, so like when you play, think about Super Mario Brothers two, yeah. that was felt like a totally different game. Totally the different. mechanics were totally different, Very right? Different. And you, they, you, were, they you, were even yeah. Close to being so similar. the same thing with Zelda two. The mechanics were totally different, yeah. right? So you don't want to sort of like totally discourage the mechanics that worked, right? right you wanted right. to make it still feel. You you still want to maintain the game the game's identity, right? So and the way of doing that is to you know just you know, stay true to the controls, to the game mechanics of how it feels, unless you're doing, like, a complete overhaul, mm. right? You know, I mean, that's just how I... But we're talking about, like, old arcade games. We're talking about old systems and, right. you know, the the whole, you know, pointing to different systems. Yeah, but, yeah, so we'll give Capcom a pass because they make awesome games. They so. do make awesome yeah. This game is an awesome game. It's just that it just brought up this issue that was boiling inside of me, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> about this whole... Uh, you know, iconography kind of thing. So you're uh, gonna write them a letter? Oh, dear Mega Man. Nah, it's not, it's gonna, <laughs> <laughs> well, Mega Man. Hey, you don't fuck with Mega Man, all right? Mega Man is like <laughs> Mega Man's a PR contact. Do, do, you play, <laughs> do, do you play the old? I think they came out with nine. I think I played it in your place or something like that. They remade, like they they remake it in that eight bit quality. Yeah, it was hard as hell. It still maintains that. <laughs> no, no, it's not. The old NES was fucking no, no, hard. I know? mean, yeah, the first Mega Man on NES was hard as hell, and they went right back to that difficulty. And, and like, people think that Mega, like, I, I know, like, people have this mistaken memory where they think mm-hmm. that, oh, Mega Man Two was easier. Mega Man Two was not easy. No, it <laughs> Mega Man was Two was not. You, do, <laughs> you go back and play Mega Man Two, nah. and you tell me if you could just walk right through that. That I was mean, not an easy fucking game. It was game. easier than Mega Man One, but it was not easy. Yeah, no, those games. Those games were notoriously hard. Yeah. You know, and people just lost. They, I think people don't remember. I think people remember like Mega Man X or yeah. X Two. Those games were like a little bit easier. You think that what? what? Well, well, not I, X. X2? You thought X2 was easy? Am I... Uh, where have you... Uh, what? what? Are, we, are we playing the same game? Are, are, were we playing the same game? Mega I, Man X2 easy? I thought I thought it was easy. Maybe. Maybe not. You sure you weren't, you weren't playing on an emulator or something? No, I was playing on Super Nintendo, man. I'm old, man. Yeah, I was playing Super Nintendo. Wow. You're going to get some comments about no, that. No, wait a minute. But Mega Man on. X2 was hard as hell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dirk, I mean, <laughs> compare compared to the old Mega Man, you think like, did you ever beat the first Mega Man? No. Exactly. Did you beat X two? 
<laughs> I beat it with yeah, a lot of you, cheats. You beat it though. I beat right? it with a lot of cheats. Really? I, yes. I, I thought. I thought. I, thought X, I. I think nothing compares to like the the original eight bit Mega Man. Eight bit Mega Man. I still have. If you if somebody put in like the fucking Nintendo and they put in like. 8-bit Mega Man, and you told me not to run through this game. I will. I know exactly the part. The part I'm not gonna pass. Fucking Rock Monster. Oh, and you go fucking. You know, yes. and that Rock Monster go fucking tear me apart. You know, yes. and because I mean, even even getting to Rock Monster was fucking difficult in itself. Yes, it I mean, was. once you get the patterns with the bosses, it's like rock paper scissors, right? Mm. I mean, you're gonna get it, right? Yeah. And I think that's the original concept of the whole Mega Man thing, right? Mm. I mean, Rock Man, if you're in Japan, but hey, go figure. How about that? But Papers. Yeah, but mm. yeah, it's still it's still hard. All that remember the Iceman board where you have to fucking do that, pew pew, hop I on those platformings and you have to time that shit right. You know, it's like that's that's a you yeah. tell me that, that shit was, <laughs> it, was hard. it was sadistic. Nothing in Mega Man <laughs> X had anything like no, that. No, 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 I'm not. I mean. If you're, you're comparing two different generations, you know, 16 and a bit to 8 No, bit. but you're telling me that X2 was extremely hard. And I no, like, compared, compared to, to X? No, compared, compared to, to X. Mega Man. I'm not talking oh, about compa- the I'm sorry. Compared to, to X? X? Oh. X was, was, was accessible. X2 was notoriously difficult. You can go on forums and boards. Everybody thought yeah? that was oh, hard man. as hell. Maybe I'm remembering. Uh, you know what? Maybe, 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 maybe I'm remembering it, it wrong. Or, I guess yeah. your half Asian came in. Yeah, it was so, it was so good. <laughs> yeah. The expiration no. they never uh, yeah, What time. I was, but you know, like, but what I'm what I'm saying is these games these days doesn't that they have this term called Nintendo hard, right? Yeah. And because the the games that that, like that come out nowadays, <laughs> they, I mean, like maybe you get one or a few that's a little difficult, but they they they're made to be player friendly, right? They're not oh, made yeah. to they're not made to discourage. No, they don't kick your ass. Yeah, they even tell you. It's like remember when you had to play Final Fantasy and you had to figure out, like for the NES mm. or for the SNES, uh, which was uh, six or whatever it is in America, whatever. You had to figure yeah. out basically where to go. A lot of yep. old role-playing games, you had to figure it out. Yep. Now you play uh, Skyrim, it's like Grand Theft Auto. They're pointing to where you gotta go to. You know, yep. there's not much thought into it and everything. And you're talking about like old games when you talk about Ag- Mega Man. Mega Man didn't, you know, Mega Man was made to be challenging, right? Well, I guess that the whole strategy was to make, to so you don't get tired of the game, yeah. and, you know, it just, it, it doesn't give you that sense of closure, you yeah. know? It's like, ah, uh, you still haven't beaten me yet. So I think the whole thing about these Nintendo games, like, they're made to be hard. Yeah. So well, you yeah. could keep playing. But well, they were still, I mean, it, they were still gathering inspiration from the arcade scene, so... They wanted their their product, their home console product, to have that arcade quality. You know, they yeah. wanted you to feel like... I remember when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, came out. That's why they called it the arcade game, because, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're playing the arcade game yeah. on but your even, NES but console. If you remember even though that, it didn't look like it. They, they didn't, it's not like you had, like, unlimited continues on that. Oh, no. It you was, had, it, like, three <laughs> continues. Yeah. And I, if I remember correctly, and if, you know, you had to beat... You had to Go try to beat the game with those two. Listen, listen I them. still remember the cheat code because you know the Konami cheat code. But oh yeah, up, yeah, up, yeah. right, right, down, down, no, down, no, left, no, left, no, left, no. left, B A start. No, no, it's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B A. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't, don't. That that's okay. sacrilege. You just messed that one. Sacrilege. It's been like decades. <laughs> I think we're gonna talk to our boss. I think he's listening to this. He's gonna. <laughs> don't send me hate mail, folks. Putting your it's, papers it's, in. It, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that arcade hardness is well obviously they it's, want you to spend quarters yeah it's determined about like yeah, i mean you know yeah. if when it, well, you know to, with the guys and the costly playthrough thing right yeah. it, the the thing is that the the the, the difficulty is just determined about the just money you spent right it right. adds to that factor of like uh what do you call that that gambler's high or oh, yeah. that that kind of thing that yeah, you high get, you get yeah you you get a yeah. rush when you like Get past something that you were like putting yeah. quarters oh, in. Yeah, you kind of like have the guy one more quarter left. One more quarter and left. And you, you know, you got to get through that. Like, <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, we just <laughs> went out, went, went off like totally topic. What was the? Well, uh, yeah. Well, we were. This came from your critique of um, Capcom, basically. Um, I guess, uh, facelifting Street Fighter. Yeah, onto basically. a puzzle game and just basically taking advantage of the appeal of the brand. Basically. Um, and I don't know how we got off into the tangent of, oh, well, we were talking about how sequels generally 
can be facelifted, like Doki Doki yeah, Panic yeah, yeah. was a, well, Super Mario 2 was a facelift of Doki Doki Panic, and how the Adventure of Link was probably a facelift, but they'll never admit it to this day. Um, oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's just, we, we gotta get fact checker. I well, think I, I, think I, I read I, it somewhere. What game was it or something? Yeah, but. because it looked like it was a totally different staff. It yeah. Was a totally different composer, as was the same situation with Super Mario 2, so... Yeah. But I think, once again, they were faced with that issue where they had to create a sequel that was genuinely different from yeah, yeah. just, just uh, like a master money. version, a master hard difficulty version of the original, yeah. which is what they were passing off as a sequel, um, which is something that Capcom kind of does um, with their Street Fighter series. I mean, it seems like they have to, like, it must be written in the contract that they must have seven versions of each Street Fighter original. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> like they must. But, you know, it's like, I do like the thing that they, they, you know, like I said, a good game franchise still, still maintains its mechanics, game mechanics yeah. throughout these years. Yeah. So I can play Street Fighter 2, and if I know how to throw a Hadouken, I can play Street Fighter 5 and still, th- th- still throw that Hadouken. That's <laughs> you know? true. So they, never you know? lo- they, they kept that consistency. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, not, it's not like a, t- you feel like it's not a totally different, different game. No, uh, no. They gotta keep their core audience yeah. content and happy. Alright, so that's su- Super Puzzle Turbo Super Puzzle, <laughs> Super Turbo, Super Puzzle Fighter <laughs> Two Turbo, Turbo, or Super Turbo, Turbo Puzzle Fighter Two, or whatever combination yeah, whatever, you think whatever, it is, whatever. It probably is correct. Yeah, it's like uh, just ki- add, add add anything you like in the beginning <laughs> and the end. <laughs> you know, it's a it's a great game. Play it if you're feeling nostalgic with the older crowd. You you know, enjoy it. Play it. It's great. It's good. And my name is John. My <laughs> John, I'm fucked up right now. My name is John. Yeah. He, he's friend. still getting over his his what three second loss. To no, yeah. that, was like, <laughs> that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. That was like the second game I felt I, felt I lost to you in. It's like yeah, it's okay, man. It's beginner's luck. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I, anyways. So yeah, my name is John. It's Dirk. Dirk. Thank you for joining us. This has been Retro Arcade Gaming. Retro. And uh, leave luck to heaven. Leave luck.